So what we are going to do today is we are going to continue to assemble the P263 impact driver and we're going to test both of them both of them out. I successfully uh, put this one back together, the the C clamp, I whatever it's called, I don't, don't know what that ring is called, fell out in the last test. I got it back on. We're going to test this out to see if it works and we're going to assemble uh, the P263 uh, and to see if this works uh, at the after we get it assembled so let's do that really quick all right so the issue I had last time uh, putting this to, uh, just testing this out during the last video is when it comes to putting this where did I put it where did I put it when it comes to this uh, putting this anvil back on its original shaft there is I by uh, drilling this I made a tiny ridge that just prevents it from going on so we're gonna shave that down really quick and uh, get that get that loose so for that we are gonna need the Dremel tool the rotary station so let's whip this out so I think this will take care of it. I think this bit will take care of it. Nope, oh, nope, oh, nope, oh, see? And one second, I messed up. Safety glasses must go on. Because this is dangerous. I have something close, to, very close to my face and metal bits are flying around. So, yeah, safety glasses are on. There we go, perfect. Just, it's a, it, you'll be amazed on just what a tiny little ri metal ridge would do. Now that goes on and off like like it's supposed to. So yeah, that is now fixed. This thing is awesome. I love this station. Alrighty, so uh, let's continue, shall we? Now that that is back in action, I need. I'm going to need this, I just need this one time. Don't you dare fall. Oh, my bad. That is not the correct bit. There we go. There we go. And you go in like that. Perfect. There we go. Awesome. I was worried about that. I, I'm not going to lie. I was very worried about that. Alrighty. So then. We got to guide that back in. Fantastic. I want to make sure that's back in. Make sure that you go back in. That's back in. Alrighty. Uh, that's not for this. Then the rest of it is. Oh, 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 see? Almost messed up. This is what I did to the, forgot to do in the last one. I forgot to put the, I put it all together, then I forgot to put the pins in. But this time, I did not. Go 
going in. There we go. I got it. Excellent. The rest for these. That's better. A little bit more than. So let's put a battery in it and see if it uh, works. Yes, it does. Lights work. Excellent. So what we're gonna do now is test this out. We gotta test them both out to make sure that they're both capable of still performing their tasks. So let's see if I messed up. All right, like that goes back on there. Like I said, I don't like that there's not a ball on there. There should be that in there all right so we are going to test this out really quick to see if i messed up assembling it back together pre-drill just a tiny bit all right i am hoping i did not mess up keep my fingers crossed Alrighty, looks like that that went very well. All right, let's go. Alrighty, it did its job. It did its job. Very good. Those are hot. Alrighty, so I was successful at uh, disassembling these and putting them back together. Now, luckily, they work like they're supposed to. So all you gotta do now is just pretty much clean them up, get the excess uh, grease, grease off of them. And I'm gonna use just regular water because I find out if you use a solvent, uh, it will actually make your grip a little sticky. It doesn't, uh, like, a degrade, it doesn't, uh, break it down, but it just, it, it just layers it to where it's no longer, like, a smooth grip. Now, uh, because of the, I use a solvent, like, uh, glass cleaner, uh, they are now a little, a little sticky to the touch, which is not, it's not gross or it doesn't, like, coat my hand. It just doesn't feel like a smooth surface anymore, which is okay. So, from now on, I'm using water to uh, wipe the tools down but we were unsuccessful uh, the parts don't the parts don't match now I do not know if the P238 will be capable of swapping out to the 38s but I want my P238 to be uh, the hex anyways so if I were to do that I would get another another one of these which I might in the future just to be able to uh, swap it out but for right now, it, this is good enough because there isn't... I looked on eBay, I looked at uh, Home Depot, Amazon. They don't sell an anvil separate for Ryobi. Uh, Milwaukee and DeWalt does. You could buy a separate anvil for, for those. But I, I am not going to buy uh, a different brand anvil and think it's going to fit. So, I got to stick with what I got right now, which is all right. It works, and that's all that matters. Alrighty, so so that so this was the disassembly for the P two three nine and the P two six three. The insides are completely different from each other. That which so that was surprising at how different the brushless motor is compared to the brushed motor. 
that was interesting to see. We didn't accomplish anything, but at least you guys got to see what the insides look like without taking apart your own tools. And luckily I got them to work, so we're good on that part. So that's pretty much it for this episode. It was uh, halfway successful because my tools are still functional. So this is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time.